this is Greg Shoemaker with Megacon Games and today I am going to be building the Chemvar Heavy uh, for the Mercs Recon Assassination Protocol board game. And I'm going to go on to dry fitting the piece make sure all the pieces fit together the way they're supposed to. Uh, put the body on the base. So here's the body on the base head being a tiny piece. I'll go ahead and try it on there. Uh, he's looking, if you see the model there, he's looking off to his left uh, side. So I'm going to take that off so I don't lose it. The next part is a little tricky. You've got to put the, the backpack on first uh, in that big slot on his back. And it's fits in there good but it's not so comes right out then uh, the arm pieces or the guns have the slot on the bottom of the backpack is the notch where this fits on first so you put that on first it fits on the, the triangle at the bottom of the backpack and you'll notice that they kinda fit over the top on the back. So then you go to the front and you take the two gun arms and you slot them onto the ends of the arms. Now this particular model here is a little loose on the left side. So you have to, when you go to glue it, I will show you. You just have to press it into the arm a little bit. But all the pieces fit together there. Now I will start to glue them. I'm going to start with the head because it's some, or actually the body onto the base first. Uh, in this case, he has some flats on the bottom of his feet. So we'll put a little bit of glue on those. And on the back. Slide them into the base. So just like that. Next, I'm going to put his head on. So this is going to be a little bit tricky. And because this is such a small piece, you have to be very careful about getting glue on your fingers. So you just put a little bit in there. And then I would put a little bit on the neck stud. you don't have to worry about getting lots of glue on your fingers. So I'll put the head in there. And give it a few seconds to dry. Now with this, I'm going to put a little glue in each of the locations here. So I've got the, the triangle spot that's going to fit on the backpack. I've got the two gauntlet holes. Have to be careful not to glue my fingers together on this one. Alright, so starting with the back one. Put this on the triangle spot at the base of the backpack. Oop. Golden fingers. All right, so get it on there. Get it on there. Now go around to the front and take and place the gauntlets on the arm spots. This is also where gap filling glue comes in handy uh, as 
the little spot between his left gauntlet and his arm is a little bit flexible because of the plastic to get it to fit. You just kind of hold it in place and let the glue do its job. Yeah, I think I'm going to put a little more dab of glue in there just so I can get fill that gap a little bit. Okay, so a little more glue. I'm going to press it and hold it. Let it dry a little bit. And then if you got too much glue in there, you can dab it again. So on this one you might want to again use some accelerant or you can uh, hold on to it a little bit make sure it stays and all it glues all right and once you once it's dried and uh, this one's going to take a little bit to dry but once it's dry uh, you have your chemvar heavy